Welcome back to CSC Tech Department. We have a 220 body style today, Mercedes-Benz S4 34 Matic, with a battery draw. The customer changed the battery, and uh, overnight, it still has a draw on it. So something is draining the battery in this car. We gotta find out what it is. Let's get to it. Okay, so what I did actually, I scanned the whole car, just to make sure if I can get a boundary or see exactly where we're having an issue with the battery um, it's efficient but I got every single module is asking for battery so that means all I'm getting is um, battery battery low low battery low battery on every single component I didn't really get anywhere with this um, but I know there is a battery low because every single module is complaining about a battery uh, so now we are gonna have to go a little bit deeper voltmeter and I'm plugging the fuses I think we're onto something so I actually um, connected my voltmeter in series I always use this cable here because actually it has a switch and uh, it's more convenient for me but usually you don't have to use this cable you can just go straight from the negative cable and uh, to the battery negative so as you can see I have 1.675 that's a lot of amp actually draw now i started at the front taking out the fuses one by one slowly slowly always take the picture if you have to or have the schematic to know exactly where the fuses are going always anyways i started taking out the fuses and everything um it didn't go down until i actually took out the fuse underneath the seat uh that actually uh refers to the pump which is that one there I don't know if you can see it but this pump here the pneumatic pump so that one actually sucks the doors and everything now when I unplug that everything goes away when I unplug the fuse basically the first time it actually went away so then I start actually looking at the pump now when I unplug the pump this amperage goes down now watch this So I just unplugged it, both cables are out, and it's actually going down. I would be happy 0 .0, 0 0.05 but anything with 0 0.0 I'm okay with it sometimes it does take a while There is one of the example actually how to take a battery draw. So first thing, if you can pull up a code with a authorized diagnostic tool. Nowadays there's a lot of tools actually. Some of them they pull up codes, then you can look it up online. Anyway, bottom line is if you can pull up a code and then there is one of the modules that's actually specific complaining and it's current and stored code that is complaining about the battery draw, try to go there first. More likely that is the chances actually. If not, then you gotta go the old school way. Cables in series, cables in series with the voltmeter and the battery, and then actually it fuses one by one. Always know where the fuses they go. So actually, when you're done, you can put them back accordingly. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, CSC Tech Department. Cheers.